Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato, and this is going to be somewhat of a research update on the viewer quest to try to create as much mana as possible for the Terra Shatter SS. Okay, and we've been using the Entropeniums, uh, but I've learned a little bit about them that I want to show that they don't act exactly like I expect them to. So let's take a look at some of the stuff that uh, I've been working on. So here you'll see that I have two mana spreaders pointed at this pool here. And I have two entropeniums. And one of them's a, a Gaia mana spreader and the other's an Elven mana spreader. That doesn't really matter. But anyway, that's just it's part of the test. So... If I take and I place down a TNT right here, okay, I light it on fire. Or one, it explodes, mana flows from there. That interpenium got mana and emptied it, right? Just like we'd expect. It's linked to this spreader. Okay, now I put it over here next to this one right here. Light it on fire. The mana flows over here. That entropenium got the mana. This one didn't. Okay. So if I go and I place TNT. Say here. It still flows into that one. So these entropeniums have a huge range for TNT explosions. Uh, my grass never grows here because I got it set tonight. Um, yeah, these these entropeniums have a huge range. I did not realize how large it was. Okay, so I have this set up here with a bunch of Gaia mana spreaders and a bunch of interpeniums, right? Okay, so I put down a TNT. Where's it going to go? Over here. To this one. Okay, so of the choice of all of these from a distance, it chose this one. Okay, so if I put a TNT right there, where's it going to go? Nowhere, maybe. Where's it going to go? Let's try it again. There are cases I've seen where it goes nowhere. Apparently nowhere. Okay, let's hit it again. See, wh where did it go? Down here? Let's watch and see if it's down there. Put the TNT right here. See, it's, it's not. I don't know in that instance where it's going. I have no idea. There's a little bit of mana in this pool, so it looks like to me it's going over there because I just emptied that, that pool. But it potentially happened so quick that we can't see it. You know, or or I'm not in the proper angle to see it. But this mana pool, when I started this video, was completely empty. So some mana has gone into it. Actually, quite a bit of mana. Um, maybe that's not true because I did have a an overflow on some of these that emptied. So anyway, that's just an ongoing research. I don't have the answers to that yet. I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. But I what made me notice it was that when I was doing all of this group here, then mana was flowing over here from that 
although there's no link to it, it's a large distance away. But watch, when we set it off, mana will flow from o over to there. All right? So the thing is, is that all of these intrapeniums are closely packed together. And I've only seen up to seven of these spreaders active at one time. Never all of them. So we could potentially reduce the number of these. Or we could potentially add them to the outside if this effect works where it, it increases those, which is what this test was. But I could never get them to flow into those. So I don't know. But here's the progress report of what I've got. So I've got this guide now from 200. I had a 200 ticks uh, per explosion, which Again, if we're going to produce a thousand mana pools, let's say, then that was going to be, um, it's it's two seconds or two minutes is what it took, approximately to fill a mana pool doing that. So that was going to be two thousand minutes. Okay, so if we went down to a hundred and cut that in half, if you're going to do a thousand pools, then you're taking off a thousand minutes, which is huge. Okay, that's a huge amount of time. So if you go even further, and I found that this is about the limit because TNT is fused. You know, it has a, a fuse that goes off. And so this is about the limit to continually place TNT and keep it exploding. However, I have got down the filling of the pool down to around 50 some odd seconds. Uh, let me clear my timer. We will time. So 50 some odd seconds. Let's get this guy going. Get my timer. Oops. Started. I'll be a little off. Okay. Now look, mana's flowing over there, guys. Look at that. Mana is flowing over at that remote. But not here. Not any of them here. But over there it is. I do not understand that. If anyone knows in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Because I'm going to go and look at the Batania source code and see if I can't figure out what the range is. Because I think we got quite a few optimizations. Either we could cut down on the number, or that's it. So C, um, we had emptied this pool 45 seconds around there is what it took to fill up that pool. And at, you got to keep in mind, at the same point, it was not only filling this pool, it was actually filling, um, no, that's not true. It was just pushing some man into there. It didn't fill it because the comparator set up here. So as soon as this pool is filled. But we did get some extra mana that was spilling over into here. But none in this one. In this whole block. So I really don't understand that. Um, again, it may be a case that we'll go to the source code and take a look. Uh, but if you know, then please let me know. Because I find it quite fascinating. But we may be able to cut down the number of intrapeniums if they're not all active, the number of spreaders, or we may be able to somehow get all these guys active if they're not and um, get the same result or a better result. But 45 seconds is where we're at in filling a mana pool right now. All right, now we're getting somewhere, guys. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video this is Scott Omato with his mad scientist hat on or in his lab coat and just going to work. So let me know what you think, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.